What a hell of a football game between the New England Patriots and the Dallas Cowboys. And honestly, if I, I wish this could have ended up in a draw because I don't like both teams. I'm sorry. Well, of course, you know, me hating the Patriots as a Bills fan, you can kind of see why. And then I'm with the rest of America of why I don't like the Dallas Cowboys. Um, but seriously, uh, one hell of a football game between these two. Um, you know, if you're a Patriots fan, you got to be... You got to be excited, um, but you got to be still, you got to be, you know, pretty shit at the same time because, man, the Patriots should have won this football game. The Patriots had a lot of opportunities to win this football game, and they just couldn't capitalize it. One of the biggest things to me that, that, that in my opinion, you can definitely take a look and say, damn, I wish we could have had this back, was the holding call, right? Jacoby Myers had a, had, Jacoby Myers had a touchdown. It was there, but then it was called back with the holding call. And then the very next play, Randy Gregory comes around the edge and just absolutely clocks Mac Jones to force the fumble, which resulted in points for the Dallas Cowboys. Like, it's stuff like that where if you're a Patriots fan, you got to be kicking yourselves and you really wish that the Patriots can be, you know, it, that holding call never would have happened and that the Patriots would have executed that play very, very properly without the holding call because who knows, that probably would have changed the tide of the game. But this was one hell of a football game. One hell of a football game. And um, I understand the Patriots, they gave up a lot of yards, right? Deck Prescott threw for over 400 yards this game. But the Patriots' defense played really, really well in the first half. Um, I feel like the Patriots' offense missed a lot of opportunities to to to, to try to push those third downs. Uh, the, the, the Cowboys' defense just did a good job getting off on third downs. Um, but yeah, man, like self-inflicting mistakes, couldn't really convert a lot on those third downs. It was really just... And you can't give the Cowboys the ball back, the... the, uh, the the many times that it was. Now, again, this was a very equal game in, in terms of time of possession. But again, man, that Cowboys offense, man, when you give that offense a lot of those opportunities, a lot of chances, they're gonna able, they're gonna convert. They got too many weapons at, at the skill position players. Um, in order for them, you know, in order for these guys to not to be held to less than twenty. Um, the Cowboys also have some some injuries. I know Tyron Smith was out with an ankle injury. That's their best. Uh, you know, that's their best, one of their best linemen, probably their second best lineman besides Zach Martin, especially at Tyron Smith's age. Um, but yeah, the Cowboys, man, I mean, they also had self-inflicted mistakes. They also had some, some personal injuries. Definitely the coaching job. I know a lot of Cowboys fans would definitely complain that the coaching job was not the best. Some of the game management decisions was not the best today. This was just a good game. I mean, both, both teams made a lot of mistakes, but I mean, the game was still extremely exciting. You felt like either team could take it, um, but for man, for Trayvon Diggs to have that pick six, that's his seventh interception, by the way, Bama made, row tied. But for Trayvon Diggs to take that shit all the way back to the house, to the crib for his seventh interception, we're in the sixth game of the season, and he's already got seven interceptions, tying Rod Woodson for the most interceptions throughout six games. He may end up breaking the record. He may end up breaking the record. Um, for most interceptions in a season, but then for Mac Jones to respond and then all of it, and then to to throw that ball to uh, to Bourne, to Kendrick Bourne, even though again, my, you know Trayvon Diggs, he tried to undercut the route, and then obviously the safety, you know, obviously the safety was, you know, he he kind of whiffed on on the coverage, um, ultimately resulting in a seventy five yard touchdown. But still, it was one hell of a play, um, it was one hell of a sequence. And again, the defense just couldn't get off. I felt like the defense was gassed. I felt like they were tired because, you know, pretty much early in this game, they were putting a, a tons and tons of pressure on Dak Prescott. I felt like that Patriots defense were gassed. They also had some 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 injuries on on on, the, on that side of the ball as well. And again, Dak Prescott, the offense, those skill position players, and the two minute warning, and especially what they were able to do in overtime, were able to just take were just able to take advantage more of the opportunities that were given to them. So. One hell of a football game by both squads. I know that, the, again, it doesn't really mean, matter. You know, it doesn't really mean that much if you're a Patriots fan because at the end of the day, as good as a game that was, you're two and four. And the Buffalo Bills are four and one. And even if the, you know, they're four and one, they have a, a, a great opportunity to go five and one. And the more and more the Bills win and the more and more the Patriots start to lose these type of games, you know, you're, you're starting to kind of see the gap there between the Patriots catching up to win the AFC East. And again, I don't know what Patriots fans' expectations are. I don't know if they're expecting to make the playoffs. But even if you look at playoff opportunities, two and four, that's a very unlikely uh, position, especially that the AFC has a lot of good teams. They have at least seven teams that can probably finish off with 10 wins. Right now, the Patriots, they need to play a lot better. They need to play a lot better, really just capitalizing off of mistakes because the Patriots' defense played great. Uh, you can... 
the offensive game plan was a little conservative for the most part. They relied on just running the football and just really just letting Mac Jones really game manage today. And I felt like he did a pretty good job of doing it. The interception definitely sucked. But overall wise, you know, overall wise, again, the Patriots, they just, you know, they need to learn from these mistakes and, you know, find the ability to get better. Cowboys, you got to be, you got to be excited, Cowboys fans. And I understand, I definitely understand now that Cowboys fans would definitely say, we go into the Super Bowl. And I I know, I already know what's happening. I can already see it now. I can already see my, you know, some of my uncles and cousins and, you know, friends definitely saying that crap. But it is what it is when it comes to that. But you guys deserve to be excited for this. You got one hell of a football team. The Cowboys will definitely win the, the NFC East. There is no worry about that. All those other teams in the NFC East are trash. But still, going back to this game, because I'm going off a little bit off topic. One hell of a football game. Uh, congratulations to the Dallas Cowboys. Patriots fans and Cowboys fans, let me know how you guys feel about this game in the comment section. We can definitely ask it out there. But anyway, guys, Jan716, a.k.a. Jan Sports. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction. Peace.